Most people treat their personal knowledge systems like a big old filing cabinet where they organize and neatly file everything away. But if you want to experience the real power of personal knowledge, you need something else. You need a little serendipity in your notes. And for that, we need to introduce a little randomness. Hi, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can turn your personal knowledge into powerful ideas. Now, one of the main reasons that most of us start building a knowledge system is to create order and meaning from all the information that comes our way every day. And while order is gonna give you a sense of control over your information and help you to get things done in an efficient way, you also have to remember that your knowledge platform isn't just about efficiency. It should also be a place for creativity, for innovation, and for new ideas to kind of surface regularly. Otherwise, what's the point in organizing all of this information? So in today's video, I want to show you how to add a little serendipity into your notes using Tana's random node feature. And then I'm going to show you five different ways that you can use it in your knowledge system to learn new things, explore interesting ideas, discover insights hiding in your notes and make some fun things happen. So let's talk about how the random field generator works. Now it works with the field options from super tag, which used to be called the instance field. Okay. So if you're in any super tag, I'm here in the day super tag. So I'm going to click on configure. Now, all you have to do to get a random field happening is we have to add a new field to a, to a super tag. Okay. So you can add one by just pressing shift and period. Whatever you want uh, to, to be in your field, we're, we're going to name this affirmations because I know I've got a whole lot of affirmations in here. Now, to configure this, we're just going to click on this little icon and we want to make sure that the field type is options from super tag. We want to then select whatever super tag we want to show up in this field. So for instance, I want affirmations. And then, really easy, all we have to do is select this to random node with this super tag. And what's going to happen is it's going to give you one random node from this super tag every time you apply this super tag to a node. So you can also increase the number of this. So let's say we want two affirmations or we want three. You can do that. For now, I'm going to leave it at one. And if I close this up, you can see that nothing happens. Okay. So when you first do this, you're going to think it's not working. But it is working. It only works when you add a super tag. So it works like on the super tag creation. So if I was to remove the day super tag and then add it back in, you can now see that I've got my affirmation. I'm in control of my thoughts and emotions. And then if I go to tomorrow, then I can see a different affirmation there. And if I had selected two I'd get two affirmations. If I'd selected three, I'd get three. And really, it's not complicated at all. It's as easy as that. Okay, so now you know how to set this up. Let's look at five different ways that you might use this random field generator. We're going to look at how to bring up study or reading notes, kind of like space repetition, how to add an on this day field to your day page. We're going to look at how to use it as a random task selector. Then we're going to have a look at how you can keep your journal interesting by selecting a random journal prompt every day. And then finally, how to find a random recipe each week in your meal planning. So the first one is some kind of spaced repetition. So let's say, for instance, you take a lot of study notes or you take a lot of notes. I take a lot of notes through Readwise, okay? And I have all of my Readwise notes come in to my Tana workspace through the Readwise super tag. So let's say that I want to review two or three of those notes each day at random. So on our day tag, we're going to open it up and configure. And then you're going to create a new uh, field that is called, let's call it space repetition for now. Now, again, remember we have to open this up and we need to change the field and make it options from super tag. Then we want to put our readwise super tag in here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select to random node with this super tag. And I want to have, let's say three, All right? Then all you have to do is close that up. And if we take our day page off and then add it back in. And so now you can see that I have three different notes from my Readwise library that have come in that I've taken at different times. So this one here was from uh, December 2023. This one here was from September last year um, and also September last year here. So I can open up any one of these and I can start to review my highlights. And so this is a really great way to bring up notes that you've saved. We all have notes that we've saved for later um, and, uh, and to bring them up again so that we can review them. And, you know, if I want to 
do something with them, I can. You could use the same thing for articles you've saved, for instance. You can create a full, you know, uh, read it later kind of app that brings up random things that you want to read. Um, you can use it for study notes. You can use it for your Readwise library. It's All right. So number two is a field that we can add kind of like on this day. Now, you can't create something like on this same day last year, but what we can do is kind of bring up a random day to see what were we doing on that day, what were we thinking, and this is a great way to kind of maybe review journal entries or kind of just see, you know, interesting things, how you've grown um, over time. So the way to do this is, again, we want to come up to our day super tag, we're going to press configure, and we're going to add a new field down here called on... Oops on this day okay open up your field icon change this to options from super tag and then the super tag we want is day okay we're going to choose this one and then to random node with this super tag and we're going to keep this to one so now we've got on this day remember we have to remove the tag and re-add it in and so now we have a random entry that we can open up. We can have a look at if I wanted to look at my journal entries from that day, I could look into them. And so it's, this is just a really great kind of fun way to see what you were doing at some other random day of the year. Now, this third example is a random task generator. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't know what tasks that I should do on a given day okay um i can work on a lot of different things and so sometimes i get stuck and so this is a really fun way that you can add a little random task to your day uh so again we're going to go to our day page configure it and we're going to say add a new field random task okay um open this up we're going to go from plain to options from super tag we're going to choose our task super tag here and then we're going to go to random node and i'm going to go let's say two okay that way i can choose between them and again we want to remove the day tag and add it back in and now i have two random tasks that i can pick up for the day and do and i think this is great for things that don't necessarily have due dates for instance so a lot of your tasks will have some kind of due date that you need to do on a certain day, but other tasks just kind of sit there and they're not necessarily uh, urgent. Um, they're not necessarily important, but they are things that you want to do. There might be things that you want to do around the house. They might be uh, a friend that you want to give a call. And so it's nice to kind of not have to think about that, but just kind of randomly bring them up and you can kind of choose whether you do them on that day. Now, for this not. fourth one, we want to bring up a random journal entry. So I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm journaling, I don't necessarily want to use the same questions over and over again. And it's nice to be able to kind of have uh, some randomness in your journaling to kind of, you know, bring out a bit of creativity and get you out of that rut. So the way to get this one done is you'll need a list of random journal prompts. Um, so you might already have a list like that. You might have a look on the internet for some random journal prompts. You can also use Tana's AI to find a list of random journal prompts. So uh, all you need to do is ask AI. So list 20 different random journal prompts. And then Command K and go uh, Ask AI. And that will list 20 different journal prompts that you can then use. Um, so if you've got a list like this, you can just select them all and go a tag journal prompt. Super easy. Okay. And then once you have those journal prompts, you can add your random field generator. So we come up to the day tag, press configure. And we're going to call this our journal prompt. Again, we're going to click on this little icon here, change the field type to options from super tag, and we want our journal prompt to come up. Now I want, let's say I like to have five different um, journal prompts of the day uh, to help me get started. So once you've done that, close it up. Um, we're going to just remove the day tag and then add it back in so that it initializes. 
And now I've got my five different journal prompts. So now I can take any of those journal prompts and start to work through them and journal for the day. And it's just a great way to keep your journaling really fresh each day so that you're not working through the same old questions. Okay, so the last example is a random recipe. Now, you might not keep your recipes in Tana, but I keep my recipes in Tana. And I know that some days I just don't have the headspace to think about what I should cook for the day. But also I tend to get in a little bit of a rush around recipes and around cooking. And so this is a really nice way to say, well, what should I cook today? Um, is there something interesting that I might be able to kind of cook in the kitchen? So you'll obviously need a list of different recipes. I already have that. So let's uh, come up to our day page, press configure, and then come over here, create our new field. We're going to call this recipe of the day. Then we're going to click on the icon to configure it. We'll change the field type to options from super tag. And we want to come in here and type recipe. Random node. Okay, turn that on. We're just going to keep it to one. I just need one recipe for the day. Okay. Again, close that up and remove our day tag and add it back in again. And now I've got a recipe for satay chicken. Okay, so I might say, oh, yes, that, that looks good. And really, that's a little bit of fun. But I hope that it shows you all the different kinds of ways that you might be able to use this random field generator to create a bit of serendipity, to remove some, kind of some of the decision making that we have every day and to bring things up that have maybe, you know, slid into the dark corners of your knowledge system. And if you want a little bonus use case, you can view my other video on how to build an affirmations app with the random node feature. And I'm going to link that above here. Now, of course, these are just a sample of things that you can do with this feature, but I hope I've inspired you to try it out and create some serendipity in your knowledge system. Now, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe if you want more videos like this in your feed. And if you want to go deeper into more Tana resources, then head to my website, evchapman.com, for templates, resources, and my signature Tana Fast Track course that can help you set up a knowledge system that works just for you. And finally, if you're looking for something to watch next, then you might like this next video on my powerful note-taking workflow that turns information into powerful insights.